That's what I'm saying, the mixed race jokes. Nasty out here. Now it's Jason Tatum. And I'm sure when we do this, they're gonna be like, no, look, twins. Bro, that's it, bro, that's the whole thing. They were like, bro, we've seen him in the same room, I can't believe he's not the yeah, same person. Spider-Man meme. Bro, the whole thing. That was me with Rizzle Kicks my whole life. It's like, yo, I no, thought you were Rizzle. Is it? How's it going, G? Chilling, bro. Happy Good? to be in here. Yeah, it's nice in here. Oh, thank you, man. First time or? Once before. I came once before. Once before? Yeah. What, since the refurb as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but so. I knew I was coming here for this, so I was like. Love that. Just a little bit. Straight off the bat, you got the clints on. Yeah, Junior, man, I had to. You're keeping it UK all the way, even the socks. Yeah. I respect that, because people come in, they're wearing Jordans, Air Maxes, yeah, yeah. you're like, I'm going to keep it straight, Team UK. I just felt like, especially to flex in here, the only thing I could do was do something that, you know? UK, black yeah. owned, Junior's a special friend of mine, like, he's a good guy. I respect it. Had to be done. Listen, it's a pleasure to have you here, man, in the store. Where do you want to go? It's yours. I know, I want to go over there. Whew, let's go. To the Air Max. All right, what Air Max is specifically? These, the Monarchs, these ones. All the power ones. All the powers. So yeah, the Noise Aqua, Monarch, and then the white ones. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. So you know, you know your kicks. Nah, nah, nah. Because nah, we nah. get people in here and you be like, yeah, yeah, I just want the olive ones. Nah, nah, nah. Yachty, Lil Yachty, he knows kicks, bro. Oh, just... he's a, come on, he's a god. I was saying to you earlier, when I was younger, I couldn't afford kicks, yeah. but I always wanted them. Mm. And so the next best thing was just to know about them. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To say to my friends, like, oh, yo, when I'm older, I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna get those and have the names, but yeah. No, I just want these, I, I fucked these up. Oh, I so got, you had I, a pair I already? Had a pair, I had a pair, I got given a pair of these. Yeah. But, do you know what I mean? I'm a dad and I feel like the Air Max 1 is like the perfect dad shoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can wear it with anything. 100%. And it's comfy. So because of that, you know, when you're a dad, you do some crazy things and you're in the, in the trenches covered in shit. So they just, they, just got, they just got fucked up. Bro, you're keeping it real UK right now. Because we get people coming in here and usually it is the Jordans or maybe the Yeezys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Clint's straight to Air Maxes. I had to. I respect but it, these man. Are Air Max, I grew up on Air Max though. No, facts. Like, I like Jordans, but Jordans are big. Do you know what I mean? Especially I wear a lot of shorts. I wear yeah, taxi yeah. bottoms. These, all Air Maxes, but Air Max ones, they just, they just drop nice with everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially these. Do you like what Pat did then with the wave and everything? Yeah, on crazy. Them? Do you know what, when I first got them, I didn't notice. That's embarrassing Are to you say. said what? I didn't notice the <laughs> waves. I was like, oh, sick, got some Air Max ones, nice. And then a couple weeks later, I was like, oh, these are crazy joints. No, yeah, but the white ones are my favorite. Yeah, they killed it with those. Yeah, these are crazy. Apparently, these were dedicated to his son. Really? That passed away, yeah. So it was like oh, a friends and family oh, edition to begin with. Yeah, yeah and then they released it. They're going crazy right now. I think because it was a yeah, friends yeah, and family yeah. before, that's mm -hmm. why everyone's so hype on them right now. That's a beautiful story as well, because it was for a real reason. Let's talk about Hugo, man, loyal, man, because obviously you've got the hoodie on right now. Yeah. Third album. Yeah, yeah. It's a big, big milestone, man. Like, obviously some people, their debut's a massive one, and then you get the sophomore album. Mm -hmm. To get to your third album. Yeah, I don't know. I feel, yeah, I feel lucky to still be able to do it. Do you know what I mean? And to be still like pushing myself from this, you know, a lot changed for me, I think for art in general. Yeah. We had lockdown, a lot of people was able to go inside themselves and be insular for a bit. Yeah. So I had that, you know, I was lucky enough to, to be stable-ish to be able to, you know, take some time out. Because I think the way music works now is like, everything is so immediate, you get me? Like, yeah, 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 you yeah. make an album, people are like, cool, where's the TikTok, where's the next single, where's the remix and blah, blah, blah. So it was nice to take basically three years, I think, Yeah. to work on a body of work, to, you know, go away to the mountain, think about what I want to say, how I want to say it and how I want to put it out. So. Mm. One of the things that brought me first to you, I'll be honest, was the colours. Right, yeah, yeah. Performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cold, love Thank that. You. Thank you. Proper wavy. Mm -hmm. um, in there, you said you've got two mortgages. <laughs> Listen, but I that, that's it. <laughs> like, this is a little bit, look, let, let me tell you why I love that though. Because man will want to flex with different things. They want to talk about jewellery, cars, and that's all good if you've got it. But that's a real flex. When I hear man go, I've got two mortgages, I'm just like, whoosh. You don't even know the stress on me. Stressful, bro. Oh, so you said I got two moves, you don't even know the stress on me. That's stressful, crazy. Bro. But one, one's, one's his mum's anyway, so that's like... But still, that's mad. Yeah, that's better, that's the, that's the childhood dream. That is the dream. But I, yeah, I was saying to you before, innit, like, like, I don't really spend money on myself. I don't know why. Like, like with trainers, I always mm. used to want to buy trainers, but I couldn't afford them. And then as soon as I could afford them, I still have, and now I still have it, like the mentality that, I, that I'm that i broke, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, don't, I, I still can't get into my head that I can afford things, so... But the house, that's an intelligent move. Everyone mm. should do that. Of course. All the, all the emphasis for guys like me, just for rappers in general, you know, 
my friends, the community, black community, all this shit is like, you have to show what you have, but you don't. Mm. Bill Gates doesn't look rich, you get me? He's Facts. just rich. Who has a Casio? Allegedly. I've seen the memes and stuff. I don't know if it's true, you know, what they like to on the internet, but it's crazy. But yeah, mortgage is crazy. I've never seen these before. I really like this. Come with the frogs. They're clean. <laughs> these are hard. They are clean. A lot of people pick them up when they come in here. Yeah, yeah, they're sick. The white laces is the thing that makes them. And, and the tick, white tick just yeah. pops out. These are hard. Mm. But whether I could get away with them is a different. Do you do you do SBs? Do you know, obviously, you know the difference yeah, yeah, yeah. between like the, standard the, the, and SBs? The, the, I always just feel like they're, they're wider. A bit wider, yeah, a bit chunkier. Tongue yeah. is a bit thicker. Oh, yeah, they have like the furry, furry the furry ones, like the green ones, right? Uh, the Grateful Deads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You watch Simpson? Yeah, dude, this is, this is not. Did not... anyone call you Bart Simpson growing up as well? Bart Simpson, yeah. People you said me all the Sideshow time. Bob, I got Sideshow Bob. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Why? My hair, my hair was oh, your hair was crazy. Yeah, yeah. What, you got, you got Bart Simpson. Yellow. That's what I'm saying, the mixed race strokes. Nasty out here. Now yeah. it's Jason Tatum. And I'm sure when we do this, they're going to be like, no, look, twins. Bro, that's, it, bro, that's the whole thing. They were like, bro, we've seen them in the same room. I can't believe they're the yeah, same person. Spider Man meme. Bro, the whole thing. That was me with Rizzle Kicks my whole life. It's like, yo, I'm no, you Rizzle. Is it? I still get that now. What, Jordan? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. But he's my homie, so I don't. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. Jordan. But he's got dreads now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So I can never get dreads, basically. Everything he does, I can't do in it because <laughs> Man will still be like, oh, Rizzo, why going? Fantastic. They're still happen now, though. They'll happen now, surely. Yeah, Rizzo Kicks ain't been around for bro. years. Anybody mixed race, Munya. It doesn't matter who. Munya! It doesn't matter who it is. Anybody. Think of someone mixed race. Right, Somebody Munya, I love to you. Me. I love you, Munya. Yeah, it's, you're hilarious. But that's a violation still. <laughs> <laughs> that's a violation still. Like, that's, that's a violation still. No, because them eyebrows are crazy, innit? Like, you ain't got them eyebrows, bro. Those eyebrows are thick. Nah, mine are clean still. That's what I'm saying. But still. Shout out to Munya, though. I'm that's fan. what I'm saying. But I know it will happen. As soon as this gets posted, man, it'll be like, wow, twins. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's true. It's just how it is. All right, let's go down in. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard though. Is it like, what is it like jeans? <laughs> the stitching, yeah, yeah kind of yeah. is like jeans. I thought it was it's like, like jeans, a canvasy like material. Jeans. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah, those, those will just get fucked up quick. Though, Popular they? though. And I wanted to know what these ones are because that's the same kind of. Supremes. They are the Supremes, yeah. Because mm. they're kind of, it's like the same kind of thing as the Atmos, the, the Air Max ones. Mm. I like those a lot. They're dope, but they're, they're super rare. Yeah, crazy, crazy dope. Right? Suit, suit, crit. How much, how much are the are the, um, the Kanye West ones? What ones? The Bapesters? Yeah, yeah, these from College Dropout. Those are so cold. I didn't but even think they really existed. Crazy, yeah. This wall is like all the stuff I, some of it is like the stuff I used to see on eBay. Yeah. When I was young, you know, not only when you want to get trainers and you can't, but it's like the same things pop up so you start to realise which ones are like valuable. And the thing is, as time um, goes by, they're even even harder to get. So then it's just the, the value's raising even more. Yeah. And you're looking at it thinking, damn, maybe if I just spent that eight bills <laughs> 12 years ago on them, like I'd be balling out right Thanks, now or though. flossing. I know, it's crazy. Obviously we had Nox in here. You collaborated with Knox. Yeah, yeah he's Knox is dope. Okay. And I, I even said it to him, like, you guys are creating a type of rap that I would say is almost like niche. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. in, in terms of like popular culture yeah, in yeah, the UK, sure, you know, sure. drill music's popping right now, yeah. road rap. And you lot are carving out like this niche lane, but why do you think it isn't maybe as popular or quote unquote cool to make that kind of rap? I think that the beauty of music now is that, especially in the explosion of the internet and all this shit, is that like it's changing from being a thing where everyone has to meet the status quo and yeah. actually you can just find your little pocket of listeners and they can come with you. Nux has proved that. Do you know what I mean? It's like, Facts. I don't know. I, like, I think for me, I grew up listening to this shit, you know what I mean? I would sit at home, watch Channel U, then I would watch now Channel AK, I think if it's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MTV Bass, Flavor, all of Oof. those things. Oof. Do you know what I mean? Good times. But there was always shit like the stuff that I make, like the stuff that Nux makes. There was just also probably more stuff like the stuff that other people make that I still listen to, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Travis Scott, or whoever. So I think there's all it's always existed, but just anything that makes people think. Sometimes people don't want to think. Yeah, I get that. But sometimes I get in the car, I don't want to hear no lyrics. So what? What? Why do you think your style has crafted in that way? You know, you you're from Lambeth, right? Yeah, yeah. From I grew up in yeah West North Croydon. West okay. North Croydon now I'm moved again. So but why yeah. do you think your style kind of crafted in that way, being from South London? Because like like I said, the majority of South London rappers, yeah. you know what I mean, they're on, they're on drillings. they want to drilling. Yeah, it's crazy and stuff. Um, I was on the outside. I was on the outskirts, I okay. guess. And there's, you know, people talk about whatever. I can't remember what it is, but like shaman or whatever. You know, people who are like, historically, the people who are just outside the city get to look at it as a whole yeah. and get some perspective, right? And so okay. I'm sitting in Croydon, literally on the edge of London, or okay. just over the edge, depending on who you talk to. Like looking back at the city. So when I come home from a party or being at a friend's house or at school or whatever, I've got like an hour long journey to decompress 
mm. what I've experienced. If you're if you if you grew up in the center of of London, you're not you can't like dissect it and think about it consciously because you're true. in it. You're, I mean, you're looking at it, but man's looking at it like that. So maybe makes sense. My yeah, just where I grew up, like the way I was looking at the city was from a bird's eye view. Almost. Yeah. You've also been open about the fact that you 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 know you was diagnosed with ADHD when you were younger. Yeah. How do you feel like that shaped you in your music and, and your career and life? Take risks. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. all neuro neurodiversity is sick. Autism, dyslexia, OCD, ADHD. You know, like the FBI, they look for people that, that are neurodiverse because they think outside the box. You get me? Oh, I man, think in I didn't school, even know that. yeah, in school people make you feel like if I don't fit in this one box then I can't be smart. But, yeah. Um, yeah, for me, it helped me with music and stuff just because I'm, I'm impulsive, as you can tell. I mm. talk too much, as you can tell. But like, no, we love that. I'm able to make decisions before I think them through. And if I thought them through, I wouldn't have done half the shit I've done. And half the shit I've done is the reason I'm here at Kick Game. So, Crazy. Yeah, it's a, it's a blessing, man. It's a superpower still. We have, a, we have a cooking school, actually, for kids with ADHD. Oh, serious? Yeah, yeah. Between... Wait, wait, you chef it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been doing it with my friend Mikey there. Um, yeah, we've Shout been, out, Mikey. We've been running it for... Seven years. Started when I was wow. 20 and he was 18. Whereabouts is it? Um, it's bounced around. We did it in Central for a bit. Now it's in, in Hackney, at the Hackney School of Food. But yeah, if this Big makes things, the cut, boy. if you've got ADHD, sign up, come, and we can teach you to cook. On a scale of one to 10, when, when it comes to chefing, what, how, how good of a chef are you though? Because I can't, no, I like can't a, cook. Like a six, like a seven. Just, what, bro, bro right. you're running a school, bro. Yeah, like, but, what? Yo, but there's, I know some guys that can really. Really? I'm like a home, Gordon I'm a home cook. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Come to the school. I'm not saying you got ADHD, but just come to the school. No, no, I could come. Maybe bring the cameras, that could be good content. <laughs> I just don't want to poison people, bro. It's nah, just a bit mad. Fine. Just bring trainers. Kids love trainers. Come over here to the easy room. Yeah. Obviously, he's as as this is being filmed, he's right now, he's warring with Adidas. There's a there's a civil war going on. It's crazy right now. He's called out the whole board. People, have you seen any of this? Yes. Everyone's getting flamed. Yeah. He's putting pictures up. Man with the hat. Ma yeah. What's it? Daniel Cherry Pop. Crazy. Creative director who looks like she should work in a bank in finance. <laughs> it's crazy over there. I don't know what's going on. I don't, he might not even be. This might not even be a thing come next year. It's true. So do you think the price of these are going to rise? People are talking about them. Listen. But did so what was the thing that he was like? He didn't color them all. So some of them have been like. There's colors that have come out that he didn't. Personally, choose I think maybe a third of them on this wall. Still buy them though. Mm -hmm. Come to kick and buy them. I think a third of them on this wall. Mm -hmm. I don't like. He did. Yeah. Kanye West did not do this. Nah, there's no way. You cannot convince me Kanye West did this colorway. You you cannot. No one can convince me Kanye West put this colorway out. Let me see that. Think about it. And the one above it. Which what these ones? You can't convince one? me Kanye did nah, that. These are dead. <laughs> that has got Adidas written all over it, nah, both of them. These are shit. This like and they've got the same, why have you got the same orange on both of those? This is why he's going mad. <laughs> Slacking, man. <laughs> this is why Slacking. he's losing his mind. But Kanye for you, what what how would you describe Kanye in your mind? No, oh, that's a hero, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um I do think that he needs to get away from the spotlight now. A man around him needs to stop filming him and hugging yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what makes me sad that man's going crazy and people don't like do nothing about it. They just go, right, no way, like say it again, say it again. I think it's hard when you're the billionaire though. Like when you're the guy, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. the guy. Yeah, yeah. No one really wants to tell you no, even though you should have more people around you facts. that, yeah, that maybe G check you. But then even when I watched the documentary, mm -hmm. it's hard to G check him because he yeah, just yeah. starts switching on, like he'll yeah. put people in their place. So. Yeah, and he's the one who's paying the bills for everyone. But it's, it's heartbreaking, but it just, the, watching the documentary made me love him more. Mm. Like, I, I've always loved him, even through all the fucked up stuff, because he's, I don't know, it's, he's human. I think it's so easy to look at a superhero, like a superstar, and be like, this guy has to be perfect. And the guy has, you know, he's bipolar, mm. and he's a musician, creative musician, a genius. There's always going to be some fallout. I'm not, I'm not saying I agree with the way he gets down. I don't at all. Yeah. But I appreciate that he's a human being. He's, and, and he is a possible. genius. He is yeah. a creative genius. Fact. Other than the album, is there any like projects? Obviously, I know you went blazes, Brit school. You know, Yo, you, been, you, yeah. you can act, you can do different nah, nah, bits. Nah, nah. I wanna, I wanna release the album as a poetry book. Okay. Um, because I feel like I want rap to be seen as you know, sign literary at some point. But yeah, for sure, I'd love to be in a movie, man. I don't know if it will happen. But that would be my. Acting dream. schools, a one, a one, your acting skills. 
It's all right. This guy's humble, man. It's all right. No, no, no. It's all right. I got a lot to learn. I can only cook. I'm a seven out of ten. When it comes I to am, acting, I... I'm a... Bro. I don't wear watches or... I don't. I got a chain, man. I'm gonna put it out. No, it's tight. Come on, it's funny. Listen, it's, still, it's a little it's a humble brag. That's a, that's a that's stumble. A, that's a sun god. Humble brag. Okay. What's, what's the meaning behind that? Long story. I don't mind. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a rubbish story. It's a rubbish story. But it's a nice little thing for me. But yeah, no chain. Who needs a chain? But you're saying just what poetry book? Poetry book. Yeah, poetry. But that's my next thing. Go on tour. Mm. Keep directing videos. You know, maybe shoot a film or something myself. Just be active. You're saying there's no ends to the creativity. Just whatever you feel like doing. Yeah, there's no answer to anyone's. I mean, mm -hmm. you can make a film. Don't gas me. We could do one together. Don't gas me. We could get. Don't we could, gas we could start me, bro. Rizzle kicks again, bro. No, whoa, we could bring whoa, Rizzle kicks whoa, back. Whoa, 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 whoa! We ain't bringing no Rizzle kick. <laughs> Rizzle can kick. <laughs> we ain't doing none of that, bro. <laughs> no, but no. Honestly, it's a pleasure, man. We're gonna let you browse, pick what you want, and then just hit the cash register, my G. Sick. Let's go. Appreciate yours. you. I just want to come in and say, loyal. He's a Liverpool fan and they're currently losing 4 1 to Napoli. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Tottenham that, fan. Man. I'm a Tottenham fan. He's talking to me about football, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, that's messed up my whole shit. I can't even. <laughs> 4 1. Is it really, it's it's really, four, it's really 4 1? 4 1. Van Dyke's cooked. Yeah. Oh my God, we're having a Virgil. Yeah, I just want to get these, man. Any of these I can try and I'd love to try and. Yeah, I think these jokes are hard. There's small ones on display, so. I like these. All right, cool. That's it. I need to stop. I will pay for these. Jeez. Hey, hey. Hello. Did you find everything you wanted today, okay? Yes. And your total today will be? Jeez. Jeez. Shout out, kick game. Next time. <laughs>